The big question today is, how much does it cost to buy 3ds Max? The answer is, you cannot buy 3ds Max. Since Autodesk moved all their products to a subscription model, you can no longer purchase a perpetual license of 3ds Max or just about any of their products. Just like Adobe, you have to rent their software by the month or year. So what is it going to cost to get a subscription to 3ds Max? As of right now, the answer is anywhere between about $1,500 and $0. You can subscribe and get the standalone version, or you can subscribe and get a whole software suite that includes 3ds Max in it. Either of those are reasonable deals if, let's face it, if someone else is paying for it, or if you're a successful small business owner or freelancer. But let's say you're a student or hobbyist and you're just learning 3ds Max, or even a freelancer just starting out, you likely can't afford $1,500 a year for a subscription. That's over $3,000 for two years and almost $8,000 for five years. Luckily, there are three other options that are either free or relatively cheap. Option one is the 30-day trial. I know, not very exciting, but it is technically free. You can learn a lot in 30 days if you put your mind to it. But once those 30 days are up, what's next? Lucky for us, Autodesk offers free educational licenses for just about all of their software. All you have to do is create an Autodesk account, put in your personal information, including the school you attend or teach at, and they will send you a license that is good for three full years. This is awesome, but remember, you need to be currently enrolled in an accredited institution to legitimately take advantage of this offer. I say legitimately, because Autodesk appears a little loose on enforcing the rules. Currently, you're not required to show proof of enrollment in order to get an educational license. I have a feeling that Autodesk allows people to bend the rules a little because they need as many professional users in the industry as possible. And you can't become a professional without being able to use the software. And a 30-day trial isn't gonna cut it. Now, if you're not currently a student or teacher at an accredited school, this is obviously an ethical issue so you need to decide for yourself how you feel about, quote, bending the rules. There's one more legal way to get 3ds Max, and I think it's kind of exciting. Under the pressure from companies like SideFX, who offers a cheap indie license of Houdini, in fact, they offer a fully functional apprentice version of Houdini, or the Foundry who offers a number of free, flexible licenses. Let's not forget Blender. Blender is completely free and gets better by the day. Autodesk now offers a Indie license introduced in 2019. For only $250 a year, that's about $21 a month, you're free to use it freelance as long as you're making less than $100,000 a year. And maybe best of all, you can sleep soundly at night because you're not breaking any rules. It has a bit of an upfront cost since you have to pay for the entire year, but totally worth it to run a completely legit professional license. Autodesk is still piloting this program and isn't advertising it on their main website, but hopefully they stick with it a lot of up-and-coming professionals and freelancers could use this. Now there is one final way to get 3ds Max, and that is using a pirated version. But why do that when there are multiple ways to get a cheap or free license? So there you have it, all the ways to get 3ds Max. A yearly or monthly subscription, the free educational license, the indie license, or the very naughty way, which is pirating. Don't do that. Like or subscribe if you found this information useful, and I'll see you in the next video.